to your hugs. I remember it was second year of medical school. We got a phone call. My uncle was diagnosed with leukemia. But during that time, we interacted with the physician and the doctors. They were unable to save him. But it meant so much that they were there to try to cure this cancer. Ever since that day, that's all I wanted to do. I came to the state when I was 13. And I tell you, it was a beautiful, beautiful country. It's an amazing place. It truly is the land of opportunity. We lived in a one or two bedroom apartment. There's five of us. My brother worked, my sister worked, and my mother and father, all of us worked, just to make sure that we were able to survive. We didn't have much, but we had each other. And really, that's all that matters. Working in college is not easy because I have a, such a, an amazing connection with every patient that I see. It's a bond that really transcends that one visit. They become family. My patient, Lois, is an amazing woman. Every cancer is very different. So we came up with a regimen that is specific for her, based on her genetic makeup and using the newest technique we have available out there to know exactly what would be the best treatment available for her specifically. Two years later, she was doing amazing. And now she tells me, now she has hope. Now she's spending her time being with family and being with friends. My goal in the community is really truly bring the most innovative therapy, the best quality of care, and the most up-to-date treatment. We can do everything for them in their own community. I use my family as my cornerstone on a daily basis. I realize that there is something bigger than myself out there. My family, my community, this is our world, our community. My whole entire being, my whole entire reason of doing what I'm doing is for them. Just to make sure that the place that we live in is one of the better places in the world.